This is All India Radio Shillong, the Northeast News Bulletin, read by Miranda Bla. As we start the bulletin, we appeal to our listeners to stay safe from COVID-19 by following these four simple steps. Get fully vaccinated, wear a face mask, maintain dogas kidori for social distancing, and focus on hand and face hygiene. And now the news in detail. The BJP has announced its candidates for the Binyal Raja Sabha elections from Assam, Himachal Pradesh, Nagaland and Tripura. The party has fielded Pat Pabitra Margarita from Assam, Dr. Sikandra Kumar from Himachal Pradesh, Mrs. S. Pangnon Konyak from Nagaland and Professor Dr. Manik Saha from Tripura. The election will be held on the 31st of this month in five Raja Sabha seats in Punjab, three seats in Kerala, two seats in Assam and one seat each in Himachal, Nagaland and Tripura. The Congress has named Raja Sabha MP and former President of the party in the state, Ripun Bora, for the Benyal elections to Raja Sabha from the state. An official statement issued by the Congress in Assam said that Congress President Sonia Gandhi has approved the candidature of Ripun Bora from Assam and J.B. Mathur from Kerala to contest the Raja Sabha elections. The Centre has advised all states and union territories to focus on aggressive and sustained genome sequencing and intensified surveillance and keep an overall vigil on the COVID-19 situation. It is asked to observe all precautions and not let the guard down while resuming the economic and social activities. Union Health Secretary Rajesh Bhushan has written a letter to Chief Secretaries and Administrators of all states and union territories in this regard. He said the resurgence has been observed in COVID-19 cases across Southeast Asia and some countries of Europe. Mr. Bhushan emphasized that there should be a continued focus on the five-fold strategy, test, track, treat, vaccination and adhere to COVID-19 appropriate behaviour. The week-long budget session of the 13th Nagaland Legislative Assembly will commence from today. The business will commence with the customary address of the Governor. Election of Deputy Speaker of the Assembly will also be held. Chief Minister Nefi Rio, who holds the finance portfolio, will present the budget for the financial year 2022-2023 on the 22nd of this month. This is the first budget session of the opposition-less government, United Democratic Alliance. The session will conclude on the 25th of this month. This is also the last budget session of the 13th Nagaland Assembly before going to fresh Assembly elections early next year. In Manipur, the Kuki People's Alliance, which got two seats in the just-concluded assembly elections, has extended unconditional support to the Bharatiya Janata Party in the formation of a new government. KPA President Tongmang Haukip, along with two newly elected MLAs, submitted their letter of support to the governor of Manipur, Laganesan, at Raj Bhavan in Imphal yesterday. Earlier, the Janata Dal United had also extended unconditional support to the BJP in the formation of a new government, besides independent MLA Sapam Nishikanta Singh. The BJP won 32 seats in the election to the 60-member assembly. Meghalaya Chief Minister Conrad K. Sangma is assured to take up the concerns expressed by stakeholders during the upcoming meeting with the Ministry of Home Affairs to finalise the Memorandum of Understanding signed with the Sam government for resolving six out of the 12 areas of difference. The meeting with the Union Home Minister Amit Shah is on the 27th of this month. Holi, also known as the Festival of Colours, was celebrated throughout the country yesterday. The festival signifies the victory of good over evil and marks the onset of the spring season. On this day, people smeared each other with natural colours, exchanged greetings and savour sweets on the occasion. Revellers hit the streets, dancing to popular songs as children splash colour balloons to celebrate the festival. And with that, we end the North East News Bulletin which came to you from the Shillong station of All India Radio. Have a nice day.